Good morning and welcome to Easy Drupal. Today I'm going to show you how to install Composer. So if you followed my guide on installing Drupal locally using Docker, you won't need to do this because Composer is already part of that container. So this is really for installing on your hosting solution where you don't have Composer already installed, obviously, or where you can't use a Docker container. Okay, so I've set up a little container called Ubuntu Basic just to do this demo in. And that is here. I've also installed PHP because that's needed for Composer. So if I just do PHP minus V, you will see that that is there. Okay, first step is to visit the Composer download page. Now, you have to do this every time because there is a hash in the download key that changes every time there's a new version. So I can't give you exact link because it will change. I will put the links down below in the description so you can see what's going on. Okay. I've created a directory called web, which is a sort of pretend place that we're going to install our website. First thing we do is get a copy of the installer and copy it to a file called composer-setup.php. Okay, that's there. Next command will verify that the installer is the correct one. And that is verified. That's the bit that where there's a hash key, which you can see there. Um, and that does change over time. So you do need to go to the website each time. Sorry about that. Now we run the composer using PHP, the setup. And the final command just removes the setup PHP, presumably because it needs to match the hash that you use in the check. So we want to remove that. And finally, we can move the composer executable into our path without the sudo in this case. Okay, so now we have composer installed. Uh, we should be able to, the first thing we would do is run an update, which is composer update. So at this stage, we don't have the composer.json file in our directory. And to use composer, we would need that. So we've either got to install something using composer or initialize composer in this directory. Composer require so that failed because I didn't have git in my path uh, but it still created the composer.json file I'm just going to get git just so we don't have that problem in the future Okay, that's downloaded successfully. And if we now do a composer update, I can spell, it should now confirm everything is up to date, which it is because we've only just downloaded it. Okay, you may have noticed I had a couple of errors there. That was because I didn't have zip and unzip installed. I uh, should have done that prior to doing this demo. Uh, I've done it now. So if I do a composer update now, we won't see those errors anymore. Okay, I'll put all the instructions down below and thanks very much for watching. See you on the next one.